on today's What's in the Box, Dulasaur Island Extreme Edition. All right, guys, what's going on? Lee with Geek City USA, and today we're gonna finally open our box uh, of Dulasaur Island here. And this came a few days ago, but we've had so much going on, sick kids, work travel, all that stuff, that uh, this has been sitting on a table really mocking us. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we've really wanted to tear this open, but you know, wanted to do it proper, wanted to capture it, and just kind of share what's in here. So let's take a look here. Actually, before I even do this, let's take a look at the back of the box. I don't even think I looked at the back of the box. So there we go. Uh, it looks like Dinosaur Island Mini. So, which, go figure, right? This is Dulasaur Island. So those of you who don't know, this is like a, a two-player head-to-head -head game of Dinosaur Island. Dulasaur Island, you know, two, two people duel. Um, also says it has a solo game mode. And if you look here, there's a really cool UV coating on the box. Uh, will I catch it? Maybe, oh, there you go, a little bit. Can you kind of see? A nice little touch. I'm growing to really appreciate that. I used to not care when they said that there was going to be a UV coating in a Kickstarter game, but now I'm starting to like it. It's a little different, adds a little bit, but. So here we go, designed by Ian Moss. Way to go, sir. Dulasaur Island rulebook, Pandasaurus Games. Ages 10 and up, 10 birthdays and up. Yay. So here we go, let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, nice high quality or high gloss, whatever. Uh, same kind of font as before. So I wasn't really a fan of the font in the regular Dinosaur Island rule book. This looks almost a little bit easier to read than the other one, I don't know. Uh, I guess it captures that retro we feel. Uh, I'm just not a fan of the font though. But hey, you know what, I don't, well who am I kidding, I do enjoy reading a rule book almost as much as I enjoy playing games because I kind of feel like I'm playing a game when I can't be. So, uh, yeah, so it's pretty pretty hefty rule book here. What are we at? We're at page 13 and that's just the end of the game. But uh, if this is anything like Dinosaur Island's rule book, then I think we're going to be good. Uh, Dinosaur Island's rule book was really, I thought, concise and made perfect sense from start to finish. So hopefully this follows suit. And here's a nice little gameplay reference on uh, the game modes or the phases and everything, which I always like when they do this uh, on the back of uh, the instructions, the rule book, because you can leave it out, you can kind of you know stand it up, lean it on something. Usually I like to kind of prop the box top up and I'll put the rule book with it. So just nice to have as a reference. So I definitely appreciate that. What do we have here, the extreme? These are upgrades to existing components. So this is what is added. So there's a PR marker. These are new components. So I don't know if you can see, let me kind of bring it up there. We've got the ground keeper, the game attendant, the dino handler, the social media manager. Um, social media manager have to have big earrings? Um, I guess it's cool. <laughs> um, the market analyst, the cloning expert. It's kind of an odd picture. Uh, and the research team. So uh, I definitely think that's cool. I like the... Uh, I don't know, I like, it seems that Dinosaur Island does a good job at representation in games, good mix of genders and races, I think that's great. Uh, what else do we have here? One clone dino token for use with new specialists. Two DNA dice, two temporary threat markers, research team tokens for use with new specialists, and one market analyst token for use with new specialists. So nothing on this side, which is just fine. And here we go, my favorite thing about games these days dual layered boards look at that i don't know if you could see wow these are nice and thick nice and hardy i do not expect these to curl um, i've been having a problem I've, i'm not gonna lie a couple of my recent um, games with the dual layered boards have started warping some fairly significantly and i'm pretty easy about that kind of stuff but um, this definitely looks nice and thick i don't think we'll have that problem here uh, so it looks very much like the regular Dinosaur Island. you got some space for your three specialists here. So it just looks like condensed down. You don't have the middle part, the lab that you're working with. And here's Moss Monstrosities Incorporated. Oh, <laughs> looks reminiscent of Monsters, Inc. Definitely cool. I'm a fan of that. And let's see, our other one is Moria Labs Global. Nice little turtle. We call my oldest son Turtle. Story for another day. So same thing, good, uh, good weight to that. And we have here now our components. Now this will be interesting because I'm used to using the metal coins 
from uh, Dinosaur Island, the base game, which I didn't back the original Kickstarter, I backed this Kickstarter and I paid for split shipping and I'm glad I did. Wish I would have backed it sooner because we really enjoy the game, but... So let's see here, we have a lot of these tokens. Um, I don't know if they're resources or what they are, we'll figure that out. They pop out easily. Uh, I don't think we're going to have a problem with these tearing. I definitely appreciate that. And I said it, and I think I've said this probably a hundred times on all these videos that I do when I'm doing these unboxings. It drives me nuts when you pop a token out and you have to massage it so you don't tear the back of it. As it is, I'm OCD enough that, you know, the, the top where they're punched through is a little more curved than the back. You definitely have a front and a back to these. I always set my tokens front side up. So uh, just a little insight to me. <laughs> drives, drives my wife nuts how um, uh, particular I could be about things. I, I don't know, I can't say that. She's learned to accept me. Very cool, reminiscent of the 90s. I like it. This is our excitement level, visitors. I wonder what these hashes are. Definitely represents something at some point. Obviously, small, medium, large. Oh, visitors, is this like a, a end goal for length of a game? Who knows, we'll figure it out. People are probably laughing at me. How can he not know? Because I don't read the instructions before I get games. I just get games. Not entirely true, but I do buy games based on looks a lot of time, and this was a no-brainer for me. So, this looks cool. I feel like I'm missing... <laughs> they cut off half the Dinosaur Island board. Well, that's cool. You know, it's a nice touch to add art to the back. Old school uh, specialist here. But I think it's a nice touch when there's art on the side of a board that you don't need. Unnecessary expense, but hey, whatever. So let's go to the cards. We already struggled through opening the box. Let's struggle through opening some cards. Struggle, struggle, struggle. You know, there's a little pulley thing here, but those, those never work. And here we go, let's see. Uh, now I did hear some things, I don't know if it was, I, I think it was for the uh, Totally Liquid, so maybe it's not with this, but something with some of the specialist cards, coloring being a little different, but I don't know, I'm not overly picky typically. So let's start here. We have the park cards of Dulosaur Island. So let's see. Okay, so these are all of our dinosaurs. We have our Galamine, whatever, dinosaur name. Oh, so you get your dinosaur paddock and you get your, um, I wonder if you pick one or the other or you actually get both. I don't know, I'm interested to find out because it's definitely a cool little uh, thing. Oh, a junior coaster. I have three kids. I spend a lot of time on those. I usually let my wife, funny story, not like you guys care, but uh, we love roller coasters. We grew up, uh, my wife and I used to go to the amusement parks all the time. We'd go to Cedar Point in Ohio. Um, now we live in Georgia, so it's, we don't get up there as often, but we're always going to amusement parks. And when my wife was pregnant, it felt like she was pregnant for like consecutive years. So I would always get to go on the rides and she would just kind of hang out and push strollers or be pregnant, I guess. Once we had our first kid, and, or our first kid, uh, when we were done having kids, I should say, I started saying, no, honey, you know, you spent all this time going on, or sitting while I roll the roller coasters. Why don't you go ride? And now here we are a couple years later, my oldest son loves roller coasters. I, I can't get on them like I used to. I don't know, I, I guess a couple years off and I've lost my drive for them. Either that or I, I'm old, I don't know. But it's kind of sad. I know it's a story you don't care about. Show me the game, shut up, stop babbling on, but you know what? That's, you get what you get. You get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. Jurassic World, like it. Very cool, very funny. Triceratops, Brontosaurus, the fun house, Tr Jurassic Pork. Yeah, again, I don't know. This, to me, if this is anything like Dinosaur Island, and I've actually heard some people like this over Dinosaur Island, or as much as, if not more than. So I'm excited. Fidget Spinosaurus, that's funny, that's clever. Hypercoaster. The Mega Racks, ooh. All right, cool guys, so there we go. Gift shop, Raptor Nuggets. Like getting a good look at what's in here, so. I like the color on the back here, this like rust orange. Hopefully it comes through okay on the, on the camera, but neat, uh, neat kind of color choices there, I think. And here's our specialist. We have a lot of specialists. I wonder if some of these are the Kickstarter exclusives. Probably, yeah, these are here. So let's look at those first. So you got the game attendant. Once per draft phase, you may pay one coin to your opponent to gain the DNA of a die they just drafted. Groundkeeper, social media manager, dino handler, cloning expert. Again, just, that's an odd, odd shot. 
I like it though. Lab designer, security guard. So I have to look, I, oh yeah, these are different. I wonder if any of this art is reused from the original. I don't think so. <laughs> no, sir, I did not catch you playing with your dolls again, sir. Uh, the mascot, oh, that's awesome. During the income phase, if you have more attractions than your opponent, gain two visitors. Chef, uh, Gordon Ramsay yelling. Programmer, <laughs> junior scientist. Oh, I love it. There seems to be more humor in this game so far. At least, yeah, maybe that's just me, but. This looks like some of the same characters are in it. Chaos Theorist. Oh, that's, that's fancy. Draw one card, gain two basic DNA, gain two coins, or lose one coin. In turn. So yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of options here. A lot of specials. Look at all those. There's a good, good amount of cards here for a two-player game. We have Pterodactyl. What is this? Oh, okay. So these are our... Dino Mike, medium game, short game, medium game, long game, Ceratops, Herbivore, Danadian, is that like Canadian? Danadian? Simosaurus, Simma down now, Simma down. And Pterodactyl. Oh, each one has its own phases? Oh, interesting. Anyway, we'll find that one out here. Dice. I love the dice in the middle, er, in the middle, <laughs> in the middle game. In the original game, simply because, I mean, A, they're really cool looking, but man, these are some chunky dice. And those are, look how huge these are. So, and there looks to be screen printed just like the, or heat transfer, I don't know what you would call this. It's screen printed heat transfer, but it's like a good quality just like the original. Good rolls. These are fun to roll around too, I, I get a kick out of it. So. Very nice, very nice, That's very nice. What do we have here? Dulcore Island, extreme, extreme. See, and here's the back side. See how it's flat, and here's the front side. How it's nice and beveled. Uh, please tell me. Please comment down below. Tell me I'm not the only crazy one who that matters. That matters to. And these are our, our cubes. I feel like there should be more, but I guess I mean there's only two player. Eh. I like the purple, but uh, this color here? I don't know. Again, I have three kids. I recall changing diapers that look like that. Well, that's cool. Uh, whatever. It is what it is. Um, little home plate looking thing. This is probably for... Where's the punch board? Where's the punch board? Where's my hat? Here it is. Yeah, so I'm assuming it's for these things I said it? No, maybe not. Well. We'll figure that out. I will read the instructions. Now that I finally have the game open, I will read the instructions and, oops, oh man down. I will probably get a playthrough in with the lovely wife tomorrow evening. And finally, oh, that's sharp. I hope the colors come through okay on that one. It's nice dark, I, I like, uh, come on man, pink and dark blue looks awesome together. I don't know if it's having a problem focusing, you see that? There we go. Nice touch, nice touch. Don't know what you're putting in it. Holding all our, I mean, I can't imagine it's for any kind of uh, hooligans or anything, but got everything. No magic surprise in the bottom of the box. You know, I have to say, one thing with the Dinosaur Island franchise, and Pandasaurus, you've really hit the you know ball out of the park on this one. Why did I tear that bag? Why did you guys let me tear this bag? I'm such an idiot. Well, that's, that's not gonna work anymore, is it? <laughs> anyway, one thing Pandasaurus Games does incredibly well, uh, outside of make cool games, is I really like the amount of content that they cram into a box. Let's be honest, I have not been able to close the box to the original Dinosaur Island, my Extreme Edition. I haven't opened Totally Liquid yet, but I'm sure that's gonna be the same. And just so you know, this is gonna drive me nuts. I'm going to have to get a different baggie off from my shelf over here because I do not let my stuff roll around in a box. These cards will be in a baggie too, so rest assured that'll be well taken care of. But anyway, yes, Pandasaurus Games, well done, looks great. Excited to play it, really excited to play it. In fact, well, can't really play a dual game by yourself, but I may even sit down to figure it out this evening. 
But there you have it. Dulasaur Island Extreme Edition! And an idiot who tore through a plastic baggie because he was babbling on too much. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, check out our other videos. I'll be opening up uh, our Totally Liquid game here. And we'll definitely be getting some solo playthroughs in. Our solo Saturdays, all that stuff, all of our reviews, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Check us out, friend us, talk to us, interact with us. And I'm going to go punch this game. And I mean, not punch the game, but, you know, punch the components. And, you know, it's late. I had a cup of coffee. The rest of the family's in bed. Maybe I shouldn't have caffeine so late at night. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Cheers.